So I've got a chickadees update for you and I also um, want to talk to you about a McPizza idea I've been working on. But first I think it's time to answer the beard question. So thank you all for your feedback. Joe says, yes, I do have a beard. Although in Elizabethan England, a student could not shave for three weeks before he was regarded as bearded. Well, we're not in Elizabethan England, are we? Michelle says stubble and minimal beard, but acceptable. I will accept acceptable. Tim says adventurous stubble. Kiara, or possibly Kira, says, I'd say you're a three on a facial hair scale of one being stubble and 10 being Santa Claus. So a short beard. So what I'm hearing is a qualified yes to this thing on the bottom of my face being a beard. So the reason I ask, and it is a dumb reason, but anyway, is that a couple of weeks ago, this guy came up to me at church and it was someone I hadn't seen for ages. And he was like, Chris, look at you. You look so much better now without your beard. And I was like, oh, th thanks. Because for one thing, as I think we've clearly just established, I at least kind of have a beard now. So I'm not like walking into church clean shaven. But for another thing, like I've never had anything more than this. Like, there's not been a time in my life where I've been rocking a big, like, biker beard. I, I just have my adventurous stubble, and that's all. So, uh, the only thing I can think of is that because this guy was from the era of, like, my long hair, maybe in his subconscious he was like, I know that guy used to have hair down here. And something switched in his brain, and he was like, that was beard hair. I mean, anyway, it was a compliment, so great. Glad I don't have a beard anymore. That was the whole story. <laughs> that was the whole point of that. So, good. In other news, it's time for a chickadees update. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back watch my last video. If you can be bothered, it's probably not worth it. But, for those of you who are on the edge of your seats waiting to figure out the truth behind whether or not chickadees were once chicken-shaped, the good news is I have written another letter on behalf of the Snack Boys. Dear Snack Brands Australia, it's your favourite boys here, the Snack Boys. Thank you for replying to our last letter, however, we are a bit confused. You say that chickadees have always been rod-shaped, not chicken-shaped. But while we were waiting for your reply, my snack friend found a YouTube video that clearly shows a pack of chickadees with real chicken flavour and real chicken shape. If you go to this link, you will see what I mean. Watch from 8 minutes. Can you please explain what is going on here? I would hate to think the internet would lie to me about snack products. All our love, the Snack Boys. So I feel like that's firm but fair. I think we're still in a polite dialogue, but I don't think a little bit of truth telling is too much to ask. I would like to get to the bottom of this mystery as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, so I wrote that letter a couple of days ago and this afternoon when I was at the supermarket, lo and behold, chickadees on special, three for three dollars. What are we to make of this? Are they running scared? Are they liquidating all of their assets? Have I blown the lid off something even bigger than I've realized? I don't know. Anyway, your move, Snack Brands Australia. I look forward to your next letter. Um, and hopefully we can finally get to the bottom of this. Meanwhile, speaking of dumb food related things I've become obsessed with for no good reason, a couple of weeks ago, my cousin showed me this video. Apparently, McDonald's used to make pizza. Now, clearly they don't anymore, and probably for good reason, but it got me thinking, could we make a delicious or at least edible pizza using only ingredients found on the regular McDonald's menu? So, I'm going to try that next weekend in time for the next video. But in the meantime, if you've got any hot tips about what ingredients I should include, then please let me know in the comments below and I will try to accommodate all of your best suggestions. The one thing I'm wondering about is, is it cheating if I use a pizza base from somewhere else? Because I was thinking you could use like the bottom half of a burger or a McMuffin or you could use like a hot cake as the base, which I don't know, maybe we'll try some of those. But I'm also keen to see what we could do with like a real pizza base and then all regular McDonald's ingredients on top of that. Can we make a good food? Can we make an okay food? Can we make a food? Tune in next week to find out.